my name is Ellie welcome to my channel this is planning and finances and today I have my first investment video so the first of many to come hopefully I really wanted to get into investing and I just didn't know where to start all the information that I was finding online available to me was like America and the UK so in this video I'm going to talk about how I got started what trading platform I use, what my plans are for this year. I'm also going to show you my current portfolio, where it is now, whether it's up, whether it's down. And I also have around a hundred euro sitting on my portfolio waiting for me to buy something. So I'm going to do that in real time to show you how easy it is to do on the platform. The platform I chose to use is the platform Trading212 and there are many reasons for me going with this platform so I'll just share a few of them with you. Um, number one was it's free. So for somebody who doesn't know a lot about investing and just getting started and playing around with things, I didn't really want some hefty fees uh, on trades um, at the start at all. So this was absolutely brilliant. Everything was completely free, trading, selling, and the only charge I ever received was a currency charge. So just when I put some money in, uh, I put in 50 euro and I was charged with 64 cents in currency fees. Now, obviously that depends on the currency rate at the time. But other than that, it was absolutely brilliant. Another pro for this app was you could buy partial shares, which I think is absolutely brilliant, especially when you are just beginning your investment journey. You don't want to be putting large amounts in and having to buy a full share. For example, like Tesla, like it's 635 euro. Like I don't have 635 euro to invest in Tesla when I'm not fully aware of what I'm doing yet. So I bought 50 euro worth of Tesla. I bought a partial share, which was absolutely brilliant for me. So I think that's a big pro uh, for this platform. Another pro was the interface itself, like setting up my account and putting money into the account and buying the stocks or the EFTs, looking them up. All of that is very, very simple. When you are setting up your account though, just to make you aware, you will need to have photo identification. You will probably most likely need to provide your passport. I believe that's what I provided at the time. Um, otherwise, once you do that, once your passport photo is approved, your account is approved, you're up and you're ready to go. Um, you very simply put money into your account and your money is there like straight away. It is that fast and you can start a purchasing stocks straight away. So if this platform is something for you, um, you can use my link below to set up an account. And by using this link below, you will receive a free share. So the free shares range anything from between four euro up to 80 euro. Um, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So it gets you on your way. The only thing you have to do to receive this share is to deposit, I think it's one pound. So maybe one euro 50. And yeah, it's as simple as that. So when you do this to make you aware, you'll receive free stock. And so would I also by using the link. So I'm going to take you into my portfolio now and I'm going to go through the trading two on two platform and I'm going to show you how easy and simple this interface is and we are also going to buy some stocks while we're in there. So let's go, let's see what is in my portfolio. Okay, so here we have my main screen in trading 212 you can see the amount at the top is 559 euro this is how much i have in the platform altogether you can see the figure here the big figure here 399.90 this is the amount that my actual portfolio is worth so you can see the difference is just 100 and odd euro that's where the 100 euro is that i have to buy some stocks with later on so underneath that you can see invested is 345 euro. So I bought 345 euro worth of stocks 
and return my return is up 98 euro and 78 cents which is nearly a 33 percent gain which is fantastic but as you are aware and a disclaimer i want to make is this money can go up and down at all times. You can lose all your money. So just to be aware of that. So coming down, I have a few stocks that are growth stocks and I have a few stock stocks that are dividend stocks. So the first one I have here is a dividend stock. It is a communications company. And this is a T and T. Um, I have one share and it is valued at 23 euro and 47 cents and it is currently down 5% on what I bought it for. Um, this is a dividend stock so I receive a very small dividend on it because I have one share um, but 5% is nothing. I then have Johnson & Johnson which is another American company. Um, this is also a dividend stock that I have purchased. I have just under one share with that. So you can see 0.72. So that's where I have bought partial shares in Johnson & Johnson. So I have €91.71 Euro and 71 cents in that stock. Uh, next, I have something you'll most likely all recognise. I have Marks & Spencers. This is doing really well for me. I bought it at a time that it was quite low, um, which worked in my favour at the moment. So I have purchased 47 shares of Marks and & Spencers and I have €73.14 Euro and 14 cents worth of them. Next up I have the famous NEO. Um, this share went through the roof this year, uh, it performed really well. I bought it when it was really low and there wasn't any talk about it and I'm being very honest, it was a fluke. Um, I, it is an electric vehicle company and that's why I bought it. Um, I thought electric vehicles are going to be uh, coming more into the market. So I bought it and they were such a low price at the time. And as you can see, I am up 145%, uh, which is amazing. And I have 110 euro worth of shares with Neo. I have three shares. Next up, I have a Pepsi and I have 0.175% of Pepsi. So a very small percentage valued at 23 euro, sorry, 21 euro and 23 cents. It's up 3% at the moment. And here I have my little bit of Tesla. Sorry, I thought about 50 euro. I didn't, I bought 25 euro worth of Tesla. Um, and it is up 44% on what I bought it. I did originally have Tesla before the split. Uh, Tesla did a share split and when it did this trading two and two sold my shares because I didn't have a full share. I bought it again um, but I did have it at a better price previously, which is a pity. Next up, I have the one EFT that I have purchased at the moment, which is the Vanguard S&P 500. This is the top 500 companies in America. And this is an EFT. I currently hold 0.91% of a share for 53 euro and eight cents. So today I think I am going to have a look and see where we are. So now I am going to buy some stocks and I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to go into the search. Actually, hang on. So I'm going to go into search. And in here, I am actually going to go to most popular. Um, now, I know the stuff that I'm looking for is in here, but otherwise you can just key in the information here and the stock will appear. If the stock doesn't appear, then it means that that one isn't available on this trading platform. So I'm buying NVIDIA and I you can see here the market is open. I only usually buy when the market is open. So I'm going to hit buy and I'm going to buy 50 euros worth. So I'm just going to pull this line up. Where am I? Ah. OK, 
Okay, maybe I'll tap and make it easier there. 50 euro. Done. Now, if you want, you could also choose, drop this down menu and you can choose number of shares and then you can choose like one share. Um, I don't have enough money for that in there right now. So I am going to go and I'm going to buy a parcel share and I'm going to buy 50 euro worth and then just hit review order. Send by order and order executed and that is it that stock is now part of my portfolio it is as easy as that when you are investing in stocks though there are taxes that do come along with it um just talking from an irish point of view um it is taxed very heavily individual stocks especially american stocks um you are taxed now you only pay tax on them when you sell them and you pay tax on the gain that you made or if you have held them for eight years you will pay taxes on the gains that you made over the eight years um you will also pay taxes on dividends that you receive if you're holding dividend stock and receive dividends so you will have to process your taxes um with revenue for that well hello if you are still here and you got to the end of that uh, thank you very much um, and just remember if you would like to set up your trading 212 platform there is a link down below for you to get your first share to get you on your way um, over the year I am going to be doing updates on my portfolio I will be showing them on here I will be showing you exactly what stocks I'm buying and you will see the highs and lows as we go through the investing journey throughout the year. Um, I will be doing more research on different companies that I might be looking at investing in. Some of the companies that I invest in might not always necessarily be about their money, their growth or their dividend. It could be just companies that I really like and I want to invest in and support them. So there is different things that go behind uh, investing in companies as well. So thank you for watching today. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or you are interested in getting in into getting into <laughs> investing. Or leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye.